Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to do this window pane blanket that my daughter Hannah has designed for our website. It's um, made with Karen Simply Soft, which is a four weight acrylic. And I am using an, oops, let me get this out, an H size hook which is a five millimeter hook. This color obviously is white and the blue color is country blue. So let's get started with a base chain of 29. The pattern repeat for this blanket is 10 times any number plus nine. So that's why we're going to begin with 20 nine chains. So I'm simply making a slip knot with the blue. You'll want to start with the blue color or whatever color it is that you end up choosing and make a chain and we will do this for 29 chains. Okay, so I have 29 chains and the stitch we're going to be using is half double crochet. So we will start in the third chain from the hook by yarning over, inserting your hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, and then yarning over and pulling through all three loops left on your hook. That is a half double crochet. You are going to want to work one half double crochet into each of the next seven chains, or I should say just for a total of seven. Here's my seventh one. This is what's going to happen when you work the seventh one, is that you'll yarn over and pull up a loop and stop right there. Now we will grab our white, simply lay the yarn over your hook and pull through. You'll leave the tail to the back, pick up the white to work with, but at the same time, you're carrying, let me get a little bit extra here. You're going to carry this blue along the top of the row. On the, So I'm yarning over. I go underneath the stitch as well as the blue extra tail coming along with me is what I like to say. Let's just work three white. Okay, now I'm going to drop that white to the back, pick up the blue, pull through, and now I will carry this white along with me because I'll use it again after I work seven half double crochets, or almost like six and a half. You want to change yarn halfway through that seventh stitch. So there's three, here's four, five, six, here we go, let's work half of it. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now, since my blue is kind of over here towards my left, I wanna make sure I keep the blue to the, to the front of the work before I pull through with the white. This will help your yarn from getting twisted. Let's work the next three stitches in white. I'll show you one more time how to pull up the yarn. It's right there waiting for you. I can simply lay the white to the back. The blue is right there and I pull through. Now I will work the remaining seven stitches using half double crochet. I'm still working over that white right there. 
And honestly, this first row will be the trickiest because you just don't have very much to hold on to. But as the blanket grows, it gets so much easier. One, two, three, four. Okay, here coming up on our seventh stitch it should be your last chain of the row. This time I will pull through with the blue. I will chain two, turn my work, and you'll notice that this white, the white tail is hanging out over there. I'm just going to wrap it around the end of my work so that when I start working in this very first stitch, the two chains never count as a stitch. So I'm looking right for that first V that I see right there. I'll insert my hook, but I'll make sure that I've, I've um, got the white up underneath the hook too. Then I'll pull through and complete the stitch. So that white is gonna come with us all the way around the end and across again. Then that way we're ready to pull up with um, the white in that seventh stitch. Remember, blue to the front. Pull through with the white. Okay, you'll repeat that for seven rows. All right, how did you do? I've got seven rows completed. So your sample should look kind of like this. And now in the last stitch of that row, instead of pulling through with the blue like we have been, go ahead and now pull through with the white. Now this row will be completely white but we are still going to carry the blue along with us because I liked the look of having the blue yarn show through just a little bit. So I wanted to continue that look throughout the whole blanket. So now I'll just wrap the blue around the side, yarn over, and I will work for three rows in all white. Well, here's just my first completed row of the swatch. So you'll finish that for two more times and then you'll switch at the end of the row and repeat everything that we just did. You know, do the seven blue with three whites and you will end up with this darling window pane blanket. So that's the tutorial for the blanket. If you would like to learn how to make the ribbed border, then refer to the pattern on our website. We have a different video where we show how to make the, the ribbed border. And so you are welcome to go look at that um, as well. If you want to, to put a different border on your blanket, we do have a section on our website under the menu heading called borders and you can choose maybe a different butter, a border that you think would look better. So anyway, thank you so much for coming by and you have a nice day.